I liked Kiss and the Beatles. And wanted to be in Kiss and the Beatles. <laughs> and that's why I started playing guitar. I really like playing drums to the songs that these guys write. I never practice outside of it, because if I sat down behind a drum set by myself, I wouldn't even know what to play. I mean, all I can do is just play to what I'm hearing from them. You wanted to be in ACDC. ACDC and Daryl Smith. Fog hat. Fog hat. <laughs> Bachman Turner Overdrive. No, not Bachman Turner Overdrive. <laughs> One of the things I think is most interesting about Heat Miser is they've got um, kind of an in-house producer in Tony Lash, who's their drummer. For us, there's really no reason to like bring in someone else that might like try to impose their own their own viewpoint on that. Right, and it tends to like keep it pretty honest. In one year, within a few months, he actually produced an album for Dan Balmer and an album for Poison Idea. And if you know you can handle that kind of range, then there's obviously some real skill and creativity and open-mindedness going on. So, there's always people out there that are that will respond to honesty in something. And if we're doing something that we feel good about, and it's what you know, we haven't compromised anything, and it's what we intend emotionally, that there's going to be people that are going to respond to that. Miser was it's more it's not like angry necessarily but it's definitely angst filled it's like trouble so th these people sound kind of troubled to yeah, me if I listen to it it sounds like they've got there's a low rumble yeah there's down definitely there it's a dark side out. it's a darker side that I'm actually attracted to that type of music I don't know who who are these people who um, 
feel like we're like connecting with them, but I think that's really cool. And there's definitely lots of records that I feel that way about. Exactly. Who those people, you know, Elvis Costello has no idea how much I totally needed his records, you know. But yeah, there are people like that. And I think that that's true for anybody that's doing something that they really like. I really like Heatwiser. I saw, I've seen them a couple of times. I haven't, I don't, I don't listen, I don't have any of their CDs or anything, but uh, I really like them. They impressed me the first time I saw them. Heatmiser, maybe they ought to all disband and go their separate ways and start over again. I couldn't get, I don't like the vocal, I don't like the music. We wouldn't want to paint, uh, the, paint a picture that there's no uh, silver lining in this dark cloud. Last night I had him listening to Liz Fair. Sounded so much <laughs> better than uh, Beat Miser. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always surprised to find out that any of this stuff gets played anywhere. You know? <laughs> I've gotten two checks from BMI. One was for like, I think $12. <laughs> and then the most recent one was for like $7. And yeah. like 80 cents. <laughs> but even that, it's like more than I really expect. I've never heard anyone really explain very convincingly like why they play music other than that they love music. I think that's kind of the only reason that makes any sense to me. Right. We do it because we like to and that's pretty much all there is to it.